up the stairs and did not fall. What an honor it is to be standing here tonight in front of all of you, some of the best and most accomplished athletes in the world. I am truly blessed. To my fellow inductees, class of 2018, congratulations. I'd like to thank USC and the Hall of Fame Committee for this award. Thank you for believing in me and providing me the opportunity to be a part of one of the most prestigious universities. I am forever grateful. My journey to USC was one I will never forget. It was the summer before my senior year in high school and I had to make a decision if I wanted to play basketball or soccer in college. I had colleges offering me both scholarships in, in both sports and the whole process was completely overwhelming and difficult as a 16 year old. My twin sister and I decided to sit my parents down and said, Mom, Dad, tell all the coaches that we're a package deal. If they don't want both of us, they can't have one of us. We will only go to the school that agrees to that. So after our fourth home visit, in walked Cheryl Miller, the greatest female basketball player ever, sat down at my home table and said, you're both going to USC. Who could say no to her? One year later, we were on our way. I played this game with all of my heart and soul, and it is a deep part of who I am today. I have so much to be thankful for. To my family, my mom and dad, who are present here tonight, you both. Thank you. You both are the reason I am standing here right now. Together, you provided the foundation to allow my own dreams to come true. Your love, guidance, and support throughout my life will never be forgotten. The countless hours of practices, games, tournaments, and traveling all over the country, just for me, it is the ultimate sacrifice, and it made such an impact on my life. You were my biggest fans, so thank you, mom and dad. I love you. <laughs> to my older brothers, Ronnie and Brian, thank you for letting me tag along with all of your friends and for being so tough on me. You taught me how to work hard and persevere and never ever quit. To my sister, Kristen, my twin, my other half, you were, and still are, the fiercest competitor I have ever faced. The countless hours of practice and training together got me here tonight. We've had such a great ride together, and I couldn't have gotten here without you. You deserve this as much as I do, and I love you, sis. To my USC coaches, Cheryl Miller, Coach Gobrick, Jim Millinder, Kit and Jorge Vela, Thank you for allowing me to pursue my dream of play, playing both sports. Coach Millinder, I'll never forget walking into your office after my freshman year of basketball and telling you just how much I miss soccer and I want to play. As I continued selling myself to you about all of my past awards that I've received and my championships I got in my youth soccer days, you stopped me and you said, Clarkie, I know who you are and I will see you on the field tomorrow. <laughs> so thank you coach for believing in me and what an amazing four years that we've had together. Going from a long basketball season to the next day hitting the soccer field for another full season with no time off can definitely have a t toll on your body. So I had my share of injuries. So I'd like to thank Helene and Sue, my athletic trainers, who took such great care of me. You always got me back playing in no time, and trust me, I was not the most patient. You were such a pivotal part of my success, so thank you. To my academic advisor, Michael Demps, who always said, books before ball, Clarkie. 
I said thank you, yes, thank you so much for your guidance and your support that you provided me. To my teammates, both soccer and basketball, and I think Tina Thompson is in the house today. We won, we lost, but we did it all together as one. And no single award could ever be given without the sport of a team. So thank you for always pushing me to be my best. To my husband, who is also a very accomplished athlete himself, but didn't attend USC, yet still every year receives USC gear from me as gifts for all birthdays, all holidays, and smiles and loves it. Thank you for loving me for me and recognizing who I am. You do so much for our family and you make it look so easy. To my three greatest gifts in life, my sons, Austin, Logan, and Carson, I love being your mother, your coach, and your role model. You make me so happy. Keep reaching for those stars and dream big. And your dad and I will always be there to love and support you. And last but not least, to Lynn Swan. I've already received verbal commitments from my three boys. <laughs> the class of 2025, 2028, and 2030. Here we come. Thank you, and fight on.